guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. In today's video, I am going to be going over my Etsy pay for March. So if you are new here, again, my name is Brandy Janae and on this channel, I do planning, budgeting, hauls, and just, you know, a random assortment of other things. But today's video is going to be a budgeting video. So I do have an Etsy shop and primarily the items in my Etsy shop are for budgeting. And I had an Etsy shop for like years and years and years and then it got overwhelming because I was doing stickers and it just became too much and so I closed it. And so I just recently opened it back up and it is slowly starting to gain momentum again. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so I decided instead of getting paid weekly, now I just have it so that it'll just be payments for like, I'll just get paid once a month. So if you're looking at this number, you're probably like, whoa, that's super low. And it is, and I'm aware of that, but I'm okay with that. Like <laughs> this is good enough for my comfort level. And like I said, I know that my business is slowly increasing month by month because like January and February, I mostly was in, was paying. So I'm super excited about this. And I know that you know hopefully my shop will continue to grow as i add additional items and then increase the visibility in my shop again so this is going to be kind of a two-fold thing today i'm going to be figuring out what i need to stuff in which envelopes i will be using this uh binder that i received from lily budgets from a giveaway so i'll be using this one as like my business one and um so yeah i'm gonna figure out what i need to stuff because i had already written it down and then realized that i had some money in my like one of my business bags because i did do a vendor fair over the weekend and so i did have some cash that was in there so i went to the bank today pulled out the funds that etsy sent over and then um i added the money from the vendor fair to those funds now, when I figured out like what everything should be stuffed earlier today, I forgot about the funds in the other bag. So that's why I have to like redo these numbers. So for myself personally, and as you know, well, you may not know, but I'm not a tax professional. I'm not an advisor. I'm not a financial advisor, like none of those things. So this is literally what I want to do and what I feel like is going to work best for me at this time. All of this is subject to change at any given point, but this is where I am for today. So if you have any tips or advice, I am more than happy to hear them as long as you are kind. Okay. So for taxes, because it seems to be like the going rate on taxes, people are putting aside 30%. So 30 so if I do 242, uh, no, I did that wrong. 242 would be $72.60. So we will round that up oops, to $73. So taxes I'm going to allocate 30% 30, 30 for expenses because that is obviously where the majority of my money goes. I'm going to take what's left. So 242, oops, I can't see. 242 minus 73 leaves us with 169 is what we have left now. So then from that, I'm gonna take 70% Oops, 169 times 70. So that's $118. So I'm gonna put the most in expenses and um, overall, no. So overall expenses is gonna be $118, but I do need to change this because I'm going to put 10 of that in my PO box. Let me let me write down 118 so I don't forget. No. 118 minus 10 of that is going in my PO box and then I'm going to put $10 in for subscriptions. And then I'm going to put $12 in for printing. 
So I am left with $86 that will go in my actual like expenses envelope. And then these expenses will be things like, you know, additional products and materials and advertising or, you know, whatever I needed there. But these ones specifically, I would like to start being able to pay these as an annual instead of monthly. So I'm just trying to build up those funds so that I'm able to do that. And then, so what was that? Oh, shit, I don't remember what that was. So we had 169 minus 86 minus 10 minus 10 minus 12. So that leaves us with $51. So I am going to put $41 for pay and I'll put $10 for giveaway and that'll be like if I do any like YouTube giveaways or anything like that I will put that towards that all right so now that is how that is going to be allocated and hopefully <laughs> I have the denominations that will work for that okay so let me move these things out of the way and I did do these on with the gold vinyl so i think they're super cute so oh let me count the money my bad hold on moving too fast all right so again i pulled out 214 dollars. so this is my cash breakdown slip which is available in my shop as well as this super cute bank bag they absolutely love it at the bank it's so funny um but not only is it good for the bank but it also cuts down on me having to take their envelopes so that's always nice so let's see we have 50 50 100 20 40 so 140 50 60 70 80 90 200 to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So that is perfect. All right, let's get that out of the way. And I just kind of, I'm going to actually just put that up so I can see it. All right, so we're going to put $73 in taxes. So that'll be 50, 70, 1, 2, and 3. 50, 70, 1, 2, 3. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll have to pay taxes. It, again, it'll depend on how my sales go for the month or for the year. So we'll see. For this expenses, we're going to put 86. So 50, 70, 80, 5, and 6. And when you see this again, this will probably be empty because I have been using one of my credit cards to pay for my uh, purchases as of right now so that it's not coming out of like my you know day-to-day -day funds so I'll be using this expenses folder to obviously pay those back so 50 70 85 and 86 I do not have like any company like credit cards or anything right now right now I'm just using one of the ones that I had paid off with a super low limit <laughs> so that I can keep myself in like a good budget range. All right, so for PO Box, I'm going to add 10. And now PO Box has 30 because I did add 20 from my last, my last cash stuffing. And I may do that on occasion, like just for my regular funds add to it, but I'm not sure. All right, and then subscriptions is also getting 10. And this is things like my Canva subscription, my Cricut subscription, those types of things. So that is $10 in there. Oh, and then I have these out of order. Oh, and I apparently did not make myself a pay envelope, so that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to add that. All right, and then printing is going to get, what did I say, 12, 11, 
Well, I did, I feel like I did something wrong. Maybe not. It just looks like I have a lot of money left. All right, and then giveaway is going to get Six, seven, eight, nine, ten in giveaway. And then paycheck, which I will just probably keep in here until it gets to like, I don't know, because more than likely all of this money is just going to be going back. <laughs> but I did want to start getting in the mindset of giving myself something. So this should. This is way too much money. 10, 20, 30. Oh, no, it's not. 35, 40, 41. So $41 will go in as my paycheck. And I'm going to just... I know I have an extra envelope somewhere. I just don't know what I did with it. Okay, guys, give me one second. I'm going to find an envelope. Okay, I'm back. And I will just use this one, even though it doesn't match. But that's okay. So, yeah, that's the $41 that goes in there. Oopsie. And that is it, you guys. So, super quick and, well mostly quick and easy um let me know below if you do have an etsy shop and you also have a youtube check well a youtube channel that you are monetized for because i'm claiming monetization for this year but let me know if you put those funds together just as like one business kind of thing or if you do those separately because i would like to be prepared for that when i get to that point so if you have an etsy shop or shopify or whatever a business and youtube that you're monetized for let me know below in the comments like how you put it are you putting it all together or are you separating those two things out into two different binders i don't really know i feel like it can all just go together especially like taxes and things like that and then expenses at the end of the day the more majority of my expenses are going to go towards my business and not towards youtube so and even if that is the case I still consider that my business, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys are doing. And then I think that is it. I appreciate you guys for watching. I especially appreciate you for watching until the end. If you did watch to the end, leave me some kind of money symbol in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Be kind, be safe, and go check out the next video YouTube recommends. Talk to you soon.